Veterans Day copy. Cat, new recording. M4A. Console mic switch off. On. Like switch off. Um. So this next track that we're going to play is uh, Cosmic Future. <laughs> yes, indeed. And uh, before we pl- before we um, do that, uh, we're going to play um, a couple of other numbers. <laughs> yep, and um, continue on with the interview. Definitely. Cat Dog Remix, MP, 5 track, Sky Raper, 2 can't come back for midnight, track 2, f- Cosmic Fuser, play, button, play, console mic switch off, up.
Console mic switch off. Um. I think that music should be, you know, it should be, it should move people. It should be, um, it should be, you know, it shouldn't be this kind of, you know, um, it shouldn't be this kind of like, you know, people go sit down or whatever. Mm. Or people are stood in the corner because they're confused. You know, um... Is that why dubstep stopped? No, I think dubstep stopped because people didn't believe in... Kind of like people were trying to do too much with it. It was like, you know, it was kind of... um, You know, people were overusing filters. (laughs) You know, dubstep producers at the time would tell you... Right, this is... This is... uh, this there was like they had to they pretended there was some kind of chemistry behind it. It was like prog rock, seventies prog rock, you know. Mm. And the thing that didn't work with dubstep was um, the kind of you know the energy that was used in dubstep. They could have used in they could have gone back to garage and used it. Hence, why future garage is so much better, um, you know. Mm. But you said you you kind of you don't use genres so much because well because you've got to fit into some sort of niche you know it's it, these conservative like you know bands are like you know it's like um, that you know they're put into some niche if you say you're drum and bass you go with all the drum and bass people if you say you're garage you go with all the garage people if you say you're uh, techno you go with all the techno people. And I can't, we can't do that. None of us can. None of us in the band. You talk to Zach, you talk to Cody, you talk to Gates, you talk to myself. We tell you that that we just can't do that Mm. within the band, you know. Mm. It's, uh, music is, the the people that do um, EDM is just, you know. Mm. Um, Again, they were trying to fit into a niche category. Mm. You know, oh, you're EDM, well, you do everything, you kind of do everything, there you go, you got your little niche. But no, because EDM is kind of, well, it's kind of fitting into that niche. Mm. It's fitting into that niche, um, and we don't fit into niches. <laughs> you know, um, it, it, it becomes a thing. Mm. You're talking about swastikas on bridges. Oh, yes. <laughs> We're talking about <laughs> graffiti art is really important um, for the whole the whole world to understand, and we we uh, we got a lot of our fans doing graffiti because it advertised us for free. Mm. So we said, right, if you want to advertise us, sod the leaflets, sod the posters. We actually we'd we'd write on the side of buses, mm. you know. Um, and I did that before uh, Eprox, mm. you know. Uh, Gates did it before Eprox. Because a lot of the hip-hop uh, communities, they were writing sort of uh, MC Ragamuffin, <laughs> up your drive, whatever. Mm. They'd have, you know, you go to like all the pirate radio stations, like the shit pirate radio stations with um, egg boxes on the walls, mm. You know, they were great. The community they had that was great. You know, they weren't, you know, it didn't matter how they sounded or whatever, but they were fantastic. Mm. You know, reverb on full, mobile phone numbers not advertised properly. And we didn't need a radio station to do that because we used, <laughs> you used us. I, we used Tempo Radio. Mm. And we travelled around with you guys. You remember we travelled around June FM, June FM. Well, that was a hilarious gig. Mm. You know, we did um, some pirate television show as well. And they followed us, or followed them, whatever, around Canada. And But then they went, we went to uh, some hill uh, somewhere. We went to some hill and some strange stuff was going on there. It was in um, Haiti, you know. And you don't go to Haiti unless you want sort of, uh, you know, if you're into natural disasters mm. or voodooism. But we found this hill mm. 
And there was a community there and they really took us in. And they said, oh, will you play for us? Will you play for us? And we said, yeah, well, you know. And um, there was these spiritual people. There were voodoo dolls. There were voodoo people. There was all kinds of different voodoo people there. We went to Africa and we did another kind of like a voodoo set. You know, voodoo thing. There was that much energy in the set. It was, it was, it was as if we were about to get electrocuted from something. Alert. Low battery. Mm. Close button. Or buy studio. Stop button. Or buy something. Stop the recording. Mm. You know. Mm. And uh, we just felt it was very, very strange at the time. Uh, we went to this place where they had all these people, and they all, and they all, they actually had voodoo dolls in the crowd, voodoo dolls, and they're all voodoo people. They had this baby that was possessed, <laughs> and they were lifting it up, and the ba- the baby was, I can't describe what the hell was going on, but it was like whoa, you know, we were touched, and then we met this guy who took us. To the part, and and we kind of um, we we were taught about like different connections and things and different chemicals and methods they used. Mm. You know, <clears throat> mm. but um, you know, Af- you know, our music is like it speaks to everybody. Mm. You know, it speaks to tribes. I mean, Eprox is a tribe, really. Mm. You know, we kind of, like, take everybody with us. But we're more than a tribe. Because tribes don't suck people in. And they don't um, feed off people. Mm. You know. Um, The Magic Circle probably feeds off people. Mm. Um, The Illuminati probably feed off people. We just do a bit more. We kind of feed off people and we get their energy. We suck off their sap. (laughs) <laughs> and we and we we feed off that and we just we make music to we make music to uh, get the life out of people i think you know when you see people at raves you know people go to ibiza and they look bored mm. they come to an eprox gig they think what the hell are they doing mm. you know people don't know what to do they don't know whether to marsh scrap with each other you know, do it. It's kind of, you know, you do what you want, um, providing, you know, we've got the energy for you. Mm. And um, there's a lot of people that want our our music for, like, you know, adrenaline type rushes. <laughs> you know, we we create. I mean, the the fat sounds. You know, fat bass, aggressive drums that 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 just punch the life into you. You know, violent kicks, high snares, um, fluorescent cymbals. You know, mm. um, you know, um, and by gosh, you do not need to take drugs to start music. Our music. Is is a drug. Our music is a drug. 